Well, it's a bit controversial because in the old days, patients had to be in therapy for a certain amount of time. In the old days, it was like a year. So there was this real grasp about me having time with each person to really rule out what would be, I mean, I would know by the time someone started on hormones, if they were, in my opinion, ready. What's happening now is with the standards of care, which is part of WPATH, patients find therapists to be gatekeepers. They don't want anyone to tell them what they can and cannot do. What I have found is with that, without the mental health piece, a lot of times you put someone on hormones and it changes any of us. If I put myself on testosterone, my hormones are gonna change and I'm gonna become different. I'm gonna become more assertive. I'm gonna, my brain chemistry is going to change. I mean, I've been fortunate in over 20 years that no one has detransitioned, but I'm a dinosaur. I think why people are detransitioning is they're really not spending the time to really think this out. So I think that therapy is not a bad thing. And I've been called gatekeepers and things like that, but I don't think a little therapy is hurtful for any of us. And again, it's no longer a psychological disorder, it's a medical condition, but anytime you're changing gender or changing hormones, talking about it with a clinician is not a bad thing.